Uh, today we're in Fort Chippewa, Alberta. Uh, we're working with uh, the local communities and doing dissections of uh, some of the samples that were collected on the land by traditional land users. So the work that we do is part of the Oral Sands Monitoring Program and it feeds into Environment and Climate Change Canada's mandate to uh, protect Canadians and the environment from uh, the threats of chemical pollution. Today we'll be working on some river otters as river otters are good bioindicators of ecosystem health, uh, being closely related to the water, eating a lot of fish. And at the same time, we're bringing in youth that will share the experience with us, get their hands dirty. So you'll hold it and you'll take the scalpel down to you. Just put it away without piercing the skin. Super gently. So hold it there and then start cutting away at it, carve it up. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Sharing knowledge, um, both from an elder and a youth perspective on uh, some of the changes that they see and also sharing knowledge, the Western science knowledge, what we do, why we do it, um, some of the skills that we have. We, we love training um, a lot of these community-based monitors to carry out the work. So why do we collect livers? Because whenever you eat, it's digested into your stomach, it's sent to your small intestines, it's mixed with acids at that point, and then from there, the little blood vessels in the intestinal wall, they come and they absorb all of the good stuff out of the food, and then it's sent to your liver, and the liver will basically filter out the bad stuff and keep only the good stuff. So we look at liver because it's a filter worker, so it really filters the blood, takes all of the bad stuff out, and this is where we find it. It's, it's a win-win situation. I mean, there's no one that's better equipped at doing these collections and processing these samples than the people that live off the land. So by training them and giving them access to these skills, then we build these partnerships and these collaborations that are um, really successful in, in, in uh, helping us ensure that um, the work we do is meaningful. Prenez-en davantage dans la partie 4 où vous verrez Phil Thomas de retour dans son laboratoire d'Ottawa pour analyser les échantillons recueillis pour sa recherche et nous montrer les différents résultats obtenus. Cette série de vidéos a été rendue possible grâce au financement du programme de surveillance des sables bitumineux et a été produite en collaboration avec les Premières Nations Cree de Mixou et Chip One d'Athabasca.